do know some very basic things. The cost of making a phone call has been going down dramatically. Long distance rates are down 50% in 15 years. And cell phone rates have gone down from 60 cents a minute to 10 cents in just four years, which means changing so quickly that it is not easy for anyone to grasp the bottom line. We do know some very basic things. The cost of making a phone call has been going down dramatically. Long distance rates are down 50% in 15 years. And cell phone rates have gone down from 60 cents a minute to 10 cents in just four years. Which means, obviously, that telephone companies, and there are lots of them, are now scrambling for new ways to make money. Today, AT&T, the country's number one long-distance telephone company, is the first one to offer consumers a single flat rate for making any long-distance call and the same rate to use a cell phone and for going online. Here's ABC's Betsy Stark. If this is you... AT&T calls its new package of services Personal Network, and customers will get their first good look at it Super Bowl Sunday when the company rolls out its marketing campaign. This is your sandbox. For the first time, consumers will have the option to receive long distance, wireless, internet, and calling card service all for the same flat rate, $29.99 a month plus 10 cents a minute for everything, except local calls, which AT&T does not provide. Analysts say the flat rate bundle may not be the cheapest rate around, but it does give AT&T a clear edge with consumers tired of confusing rate plans and multiple phone bills that have made them all too willing to switch around. Each service relationship AT&T has with the customer, wired, wireless, or internet, is a unique hook. The more hooks they can get into the customer, the less likely they are to leave. Competitors are expected to try and imitate the AT&T concept. MCI already offers a package of long distance and wireless service, though not at a flat rate. What's more, once AT&T completes its merger with cable giant TCI, the company could expand its package of services to include local calls and cable. Today's announcement takes the industry closer to its goal of one-stop shopping for consumers. It also takes AT&T closer to its goal of being the only phone company consumers need, just as it was once before. Betsy Stark, ABC News, New York. So do you buy what AT&T is offering? That's always the question, isn't it, when you watch the latest ads on TV for this money-saving service or that one? Let's take a closer look now at those 1010 long-distance numbers. Dial around, they're called. 11 million American households tried them last year, created a $2 billion business. Did they really save people money? Here's ABC's Barry Serafin. For phone customers looking to save money, the barrage of ads for 1010 dial-around service. Buyer beware. I mean, you have to read the fine print on these offers that you get. Cheryl, hi. This is Shirley. Shirley Tyler of Augusta, Georgia, pounced on this offer. With 1010-220, all calls up to 20 minutes are only 99 cents. Mrs. Tyler believed that would average out to 5 cents a minute and made a number of brief long-distance calls. But when her bill arrived, she learned that the 99 cents applied to each call, whether 20 minutes or one minute. I was just blown away by the fact that they were charging me 99 cents for one minute. I absolutely could not believe it. The Federal Communications Commission has received hundreds of complaints about dial-arounds. Oftentimes, these services are not what they appear to be. Be a lucky dog. Dial 1010-345 today. For example, you might think Lucky Dog is one of the small companies challenging AT&T. In fact, it is owned by AT&T. And in some other cases, there are hidden costs, such as monthly or service fees. Dial around is not necessarily a bad thing, but let's make sure that consumers know what they're getting. The FCC and the Federal Trade Commission are now investigating dial-arounds. In the meantime, officials say consumers can often save just as much by signing up for low-rate services offered by their regular long-distance carrier. Barry Saroff and ABC News. So in all of this, do we know the future? Analysts say, first of all, that the flat rates will soon include local calls as well. And in the next few years, as Betty Stark suggested, Betsy Stark suggested in her report, there will be one data line coming into your house to provide the internet, cable television, plus the phone service, and presumably that will be even less expensive. But finally, there is this interesting piece of speculation. Some industry analysts say that even as our rates get cheaper and cheaper, we fall so in love with all these services and use them so much more 
that our monthly bill probably won't change that dramatically after all. Sounds like a phone company dream come true. When we come back, a couple of cities going after the gun makers. Long distance runaround. News Channel 6's Jason Wheeler found one woman who didn't save as much as she thought. Knows a thing or two about long distance and run around. Usually she makes her little style around, but then she saw the ad. Well, you know, I make several long distance. I thought that sounded better. You know, uh, calculating per minute came to about five cents per minute, so I assumed that. Uh, At the end of the month, the bill hit the mailbox, and then she expected a nineteen dollar bill. Sixty six. I was shocked. I and believe. Uh, that they would charge 99 cents Fine for one She would have seen the discount rate after she's been on the phone for 20 minutes. Minimums or search not the exception. But who makes a 20-minute long-distance phone call? Studies show the average long-distance call takes just 12 minutes. Now, Shirley agrees that 99 cents a minute is pretty not good. It's such a deal if she's on the phone for alone. just one Could have shot my son last summer while he was at camp dialing 10, 10, 3, 2, 1 because it cost Jason me. tells us that Shirley Tyler is fighting what she's calling misleading advertising. The FCC is looking into her complaint, and in the meantime, she's not yes, paying the disputed charges. America charge. Day, and I had the chance to meet and Miss Williams, Miss Marlowe's classes. And I read to the youngsters at Bayville Elementary, along with parent Shirley Tyler, we enjoyed reading to the pre-K and the kindergarten classes there. And as I'm sure you remember, Dr. Seuss is the cat in the head, and of course, everybody loves the Grinch who stole Christmas. The youngsters certainly did know a lot about Dr. Seuss, and they were only, you know, five, six years old. Right, and they even knew all the lessons they were supposed to learn from all the stories. That's great. Not bad. Sorry, thanks for watching First at Five. Six o'clock coming up at half hour.